The game's future stars are on display as minor league baseball comes your way on the show. Today we wrap up this four-game weekend series between the Indianapolis Indians and the Columbus Clippers. The race for the division continues to heat up as two of the best square off next. Ryan Merritt will be on the mound for game four. What do we need to know here, Danny? Talk about impressive. How about an ERA under two last season for this guy? If he continues to pitch like that this year, he's going to put himself near the top echelon of pitchers. Not going to be an easy thing to do, but we'll see how he starts out in this one. Fellas, you take a look at the home side here as they take the field this afternoon. They came out on the losing end last time out and are in a bit of a skid. In fact, they've lost seven of their last ten. Yeah, Maddie, they played a heck of a game, first game of this series, and then dropped the last two, not playing really good baseball. They have to find a way to win this one today. No doubt about it, D-Roll. There's such a thing as a good series by winning the last one and getting us. And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the inning. So they get a man to second here in the top half, but he's stranded there. So it's on to the bottom of inning number one. No score. Digging in to try it again. Jared Werner. Jared Werner. First pitch of the at-bat. Swing hard liner to left center. That gets down. He's got himself a base hit. Long throw to the plate. And he's going to score with ease as the throw will be too late. Dan, you know what? You like to see that from an offense. When you have a guy in scoring position, there's no sense in waiting around. He saw a pitch he liked right there, and he went after it. He, he did, d -Row, and I think that's what most hitters do. They come up with guys on base that they can potentially drive in. They're looking for a pitch to hit, and he didn't wait around and got that bad hit started. Coming to the plate again, Colin Moran, as he'll bat for the second time in the inning. Now the payoff pitch home he is swung on and missed. He got him. Time for a look at the defensive alignment for the home team. And guys, when I've been looking at the numbers on this starting pitcher, what really jumps out on me is the fact that he doesn't strike a ton of guys out, which means he's got to execute. He's got to use those 17 inches in, out, up, up, and down. He's going to have his defense behind him, and they better be on. And the throw to first is there. The inning is over. But not only do they take the lead, they also open it up a bit as seven men come across to score. We'll go to the bottom half of inning number two. Indianapolis is out in front, seven to nothing. Coming to the plate now, Brandon Geyer. He leads off this half inning in what they hope will be a rebuttal to all those runs they just gave up. Well, Matt, I think mentally they need to get one or two of these runs back right here. Just getting on the board after getting socked in the mouth by an opposing team can lift the team up a bit. We'll see if they can string something together. The windup and the 0-1. Guys, we're in the heart of the season now and watching what's proving to be a fierce division contest. The Clippers currently holds on to the top spot, but their opponents are hot on their heels. Yep, Dan, both these teams got out of the blocks hot, and you start to circle certain series on the calendar, and this is certainly one that you drive to the ballpark feeling a little bit different. And I think, listen, you get to this near the halfway point of the season, d -Row, and you kind of like to have that target to chase. And when you're as close as this team is in second place right now, you don't want to fall any further back. There's a lot of schedule left, but this is a big series and one they'd
digging in once again. Jared Werner. He came through with an RBI single in his last at bat. Werner. Spin and a throw back to second, and the runner back easily. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Swing and a miss just behind a lively fastball. Yeah, Matty, he's very late on that first pitch. I, I, I got to think he was guessing off speed. Just keeping him close. And look out as that fastball ran in and got him. Ouch, Bram. Well, there's a couple of ways to look at this. It never looks good to hit a man when your team is getting shelled. Seems a little suspicious. Then again, sooner or later, you've got to reclaim the inside part of the plate, Colin. or things can Colin. get even worse. Colin. Stepping in now, Moran. Colin Moran. Here, Find it. Swing and a Find liner. It. Boy, and the shellacking continues as this is down for extra bases. Tack on another here as the runner scores from second. Make it 9 nothing. That's a grind pitch right there. Fastball in off the plate, and this batter's able to fight and keep his hands inside this baseball and drive it for a knock. Impressive. Here's the first pitch to him. And that one stayed too low, apparently. Werner on second. Moran at first, one gone. Ball two now. Got to find a way to execute either a good fastball down the way or flip something off speed for a strike. You cannot miss over the heart of the plate in these situations. The hitter is on high alert. Now a pickoff play at second, and he just manages to get his hand in. Three and oh now. Well, nothing can make you question yourself on that mound more than three straight balls to a guy you know that you should go right after. Sometimes you just lose the strike zone and you don't know why. He's set. Here's the 3 0. And that misses for ball four. Now at the plate, Max Morov. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. First pitch on its way. Change up in for a strike. Getting that first pitch strike is really important when you're dealing with the bases loaded behind you. Good job to give himself the advantage there. That's in there, and he's deep in the hole now, 0-2. Sometimes you just can't overthink it. If a guy can't hit a certain pitch in a certain quadrant, why would you throw him anything else? Case in point, this guy's cold zone is away, and this pitcher keeps attacking that exact spot. Oh, and he's hit by the pitch. And that'll be a painful run batted in. These guys are pros and they're tough, but I know that one hurt. He'll never show it, though. Too much pride at stake. Digging in, Chris Bostic. He's one for two in this one. Second baseman, Chris Bostic. Stepping up now, Jared Werner. He was drilled by a pitch his last time up. Werner. Now time is marked out by the home plate umpire. First pitch of the at bat. Breaking balls in for a strike. The Indians came in here today to make a statement, and they're doing just that, jumping out to a big lead partway through this one. You know, D-Row, this isn't a must-win kind of situation near the halfway point of the season, but this is kind of where you find out if you're a contender or a pretender. And you're setting a tone for what your front office is going to do come trade deadline. I mean, we're, we're, not, we're not at the beginning of the season right here. There's moves that can be made that can put you over the top. If you continue to get dirty, play well. get dirty, get dirty. And this one's in the dirt. And oh, they say he beat the throw safe at third. So now two men in scoring position. 
Ready now, Colin Moran. So far, two for three in this one. Here's the first pitch to him. Skied into very shallow right. Geyer has a play. And that retires the side. A couple of walks, but no damage. We're back with more on a Sunday afternoon following this. And that'll bring up Eric Gonzalez as we move past the halfway point in this one and begin the bottom of the fifth. This one doesn't look good so far. Down by a boatload as we enter the middle innings. It's about time they get something going. And the last thing you want to do is fall behind where you have to score a bunch in the eighth and ninth inning. The windup and the 0-1. And that slider's almost in the dirt. It's Now batting, Carlos Ibarra. He'll start things out in the sixth for a lineup that really hasn't found its groove in this one. Yeah, only two hits so far, Matt, and not very many hard hit balls either. We'll see if they can start making some adjustments. Moving under it, Werner looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. Striding in, Damon Regan. Now batting, left fielder, Damon Regan. Stepping up to the plate, Jared Werner. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Starts him out with a fastball too low for ball one. Novoa gets his lead at first, nobody out. Swing and a miss. Blew it right by him at 96. It's a ball and a strike. One, two. Smoke toward the hole. And that's through for a hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Chalk up another multi-hit game for this guy. He is absolutely on fire. He's been on a nice hot streak as of late, and I don't see it ending anytime soon. Now batting. Third baseman, Colin Moran. Into the box, Colin Moran. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. Two hits in four attempts to this point. Lifted down the line and left. And that will end up a foul ball. The 1-1 one, one home. Fouled off again, and now he's in a one and two hole. Weak chopper right, up the here. line. Reined in. And he'll just step on first here to take the shoe out. Next will be Jose Osuna. Two for three with a double on his line so far. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Hit hard on the ground towards second. And that'll get by into center field for a base hit. And the second run will score as well. Yeah, yeah. Great hey, guys, he's right lucky there. he's getting this baseball back. He hung that middle of the plate. The batter's eyes lit up, and he was able to put good wood on it. The batter. George Brown. Now at the plate, Jared Werner. He singled his last time up. Right fielder, Jared Werner. From the stretch, here's the pitch. There's a fastball missing down and away for a ball, 1-0. and 
Presuming that they can wrap this one up cleanly, these guys will keep it tight in the division race. Dan Dero, what does it take to come into a key game like this and dominate like they have? You know, Dero, I think anytime you're chasing a team that's in first place, this is a big game right now. There's a lot of schedule left, but you feel like if you're a second place team and you can close that gap, you don't, these you are don't. the kind of games you need to win to make it a little bit easier on yourself the last weeks of September and October. I completely agree with you, Dan. We can certainly say these teams are not pretenders. They're going to grind it out all the way. We might see both of them in the postseason. This is a nice test back and forth to see where they both stand. Now batting. Third baseman. Striding in once again, Colin Moran. He's looking for his third hit of the ball game here. Runners going. Pitch misses the throw down. He is not in time. Pretty close, but he got in there safely. From the belt, kicks and deals. Looked like he was on that one, but it's one and two. And facing right-handed pitching so far this season, Moran is carrying around a batting average in the 320s. That's what you might call potent. Matty, great matchup right here. He's been absolutely hammering right-handed pitching all season long. That's to open. two balls and two strikes now. Boy, that was an awfully close pitch right there. I know if I'm on the mound, I want that pitch called a strike. That's one of those that could go either way. Runner goes for third. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Aoki brings it in, and now they might have the runner caught off second. And now Gracious just getting the ball back into the infield is becoming a problem. So coming to the plate, Jose Osuna. Runner in scoring position with two gone. Here's the first pitch to him. Missed with a slider. Hey. Knee high slider that he takes a look at. Werner at second with two down. Set and the one two pitch popped him up and this is going to get down it's a foul ball and a foul tip here but it's held on to for the out good work behind the plate and the inning is over stepping up for Columbus. right fielder Randy. Yeah, and in this game, you always try to find a way to be hopeful. They win the first game of a new month and are now looking to keep it rolling the rest of the way. 14 to 4 is the way this one ends. The Indians took the lead in the second inning and rode that until the very end. Jose Mesa wins his team leading 10th game of the year. Ryan Merritt was hit hard to the tune of seven earned as he takes the loss. So that'll just about do it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been a presentation of MLB The Show. For more, don't forget to check out theshownation.com. Time of the ball game: four hours and three minutes.
So we're going to see a pinch hitter here with the bases empty and one gone in the inning. The right fielder, number three, Jared Werner. Hard this one's 90, down hard to third. 90, Park is there. Throw in time at first for route number two. Pat Rosen will come on. And tonight's ends as a 3 nothing shutout win. The Louisville Bats jumped out. Welcome to MLB The Show in this presentation of Minor League Baseball. Tonight we wrap up this brief two-game series between the Indianapolis Indians and the Louisville Bats. It's baseball. It's the show. And it comes... Now to the plate, Jared Werner. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Jared Werner. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Takes a fastball on the inside corner. Fellas are home nine as they begin play here this evening. They did get the win last time out, but it hasn't been the best week for them as they've won just twice in their last six tries. Yeah, Matty V, it was a low-scoring affair. Good pitcher's duel, good defense in the first game, but the home team's able to scratch it out, and they're looking for a two-game sweep, Dan. You know, Dero, it's never easy to sweep in any league, but, boy, on a two-game set like this, you win a nail-biter in the first one. You have to start thinking, being greedy, and win this one and get out of here with a clean sweep. And on 0-2, he misses with a fastball. Now there's your textbook waste pitch right there. Try and get the eye level up. Let's see if he comes back with another fastball elevated or drops a hammer off. Two and two now with two away and the base is empty. Kind of pitching him backwards in this A.B. Soft stuff early. Then those last two were fastballs trying to get it right by him. Swing and a miss for strike three. Hold the string on him that time and the inning is over. Coming to the plate now, Richard Armas. And he could give his guys an early lead if he can Richard come through here. Armas. A ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. Pulled toward right center field. Werner is after it. And he makes the catch for the second out. And with that, here's a glance at the starting. Digging in now, Rafael Samuels. Couple of hits for him in four trips to the plate last night. The 2-2. Fly ball out to straightaway right. Werner will settle under it to make the play for the first out as the runner will have to head back to first. Time for a look at the defensive alignment for the visitors. And guys, one thing I want you to focus on today when you look at this team on the defensive side of the ball. Standing in, Jared Werner. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Hey, we're still in the early stages in this one. They're only down by a couple of runs. But it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. First delivery to him on the way. And a fastball just below the knees, ball one. And he's in front of a tight little slider that time. A wave and a miss, a tick behind a good fastball. That straight smoke at 99, guys. It's almost unfair. Come on, Hard hit come ball on, to come second. On, come on, come on, come on. Sandoval moving to his right. Throw to first in time. One gone here in the fourth. Riding into the box, Jared Werner. And we'll see what he can do here with a pair of runners on base and two gone here in the fifth. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Chuck Wheatley to the left. Throw is in time, and they're able to avoid the huge inning here as this side is retired. So stepping in, Bernie Burris, a hit in two tries so far. Burris. The 1-1 home. Hit in the air to right field. Werner is there. He's got it, and that'll get him out of the jam. So the error winds up not caught. 
Stepping into the box, Jared Werner. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. First pitch on its way. Trying to jam him with the first pitch slider, but it's in a bit too tight for ball one. The 1-1 one, one. takes a pass and misses. That's strike two. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. He's around first, heading for two. Their own pitcher is absolutely dealing right now. So this is a big moment in this game. If his teammates can pick him up and drive him in now, that might be all they need to get the W here. How about it? So here's the cleanup hitter, James Quezada, runner in scoring position with Sugan. On the ground, back up come the on, box, on, and on, it'll get on. through into center field, a base hit. The throw home. The tag, but it's not in time at the plate as he scores to make it 4-2. to two. Dan, that's a huge insurance run right there. At the plate, Jared Werner. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at-bat with another big hit right here. First pitch coming, here it is. One Missed out. with a breaking ball. And when you're already down five, the last thing you want to do is fall behind in the count when you're on the mound. That's not going to do anything to help you get back into this thing. This is line to left, and that gets down as he can't get there in time. And they'll add another to the total. It's eight to two now. Man, That's a grind that pitch that right there. Fastball job. in off the plate, and this batter's able to fight and keep his hands inside this baseball and drive it for a knock. Impressive. Stepping into the box, James Cazada. He's doubled and singled in four at bats in this contest. Here now the 2 2. Popped him up. Sandoval is there and he puts it away to stop the bleeding. Ready for another shot now. Richard Armas. Here now the 2-2. Two -two. Fly ball out to straightaway right. Moving under it, Werner. And he makes the catch for the second out. No runner, no runner. Anytime you can win a game, let alone on the road, you have to feel really good about yourself. It's not easy going into that other team's ballpark and coming out with a win, but they did just that. 8-3 tonight. The Indians. Time for baseball of the AAA variety as the show brings you coverage from the International League. We've got baseball on the 4th of July between the Louisville Bats and the Indianapolis Indians. 
It's baseball on the show and it's coming up next. Sherman Walker will be on the mound for the series opener. Dan Pleszak, what's the word on him? Hey, you take a look at this guy's number. One of the things that jumps out at you is that ERA. It's into the fours. But that doesn't necessarily indicate what kind of pitcher this guy. There's a swing and a ball hit in the air and a ball that he got every stitch of as that one, without a doubt, is gone. Wow, that's what a pitcher gets for not putting what he thought was a bad call in the rear leading off the inning Jared Werner and they'll need him to get something going here lots of baseball left in this one as we're still early on but you don't want to fall too far behind they're already down by a bundle and one of the things you want your leadoff guy to get on and set the table for the big boys to start driving in some runs the 0 1 pitch sliders in for a strike so back-to-back -back sliders for strikes. Does he come back with yet another? There's another slider. That's back-to-back -back good sliders. And this guy's breaking ball is really good. And when he's throwing it, well... Now at the plate, Jared Werner. He'll look to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Werner. And this is taken outside for ball one. Driven down the left field line. Will it stay fair? No, a little too much hook on it there. It's a foul ball. One and two as he chases the slider. Off the plate that time and a little high. It's even at two and two. Bases are empty. One man out. Grounder down the line at third, but a foul ball as it holds it two and two. Popped up. And he'll put this away for the second out. Into the box now, Jared Werner. Right fielder, Jared Werner. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. And a pitch out. Nothing doing, though, and that's ball one. Now the 1-0. Out in front there as this one's pulled off to the left side. Here's a look over to first, and he'll dive back in. And another throw over and a dive, but he's back in there. The 1-1 one -one is laid now off for ball one. two. Navoa aboard here at first with nobody out. Started to go. Did he hold up in time? Yes, says the first base umpire. It's ball three now. Set. Here's the 3 1. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And it's a foul ball. Now the 3 and 2 pitch is a swing and a miss. That's strike three. At the plate, Tommy Moore. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Moore. Hold high in the air out to right field. Relay, relay. Werner back in plenty of time to put this away, however, and there are two gone. And he'll take those extra 90 feet, so put runners. Stepping in, Rafael Samuels. He flew out in his last at bat. Samuels. Hit high and deep is straight away right field. Werner racing back, but he won't get there as it lands just shy of the wall. And the runner will score from first. Now the relay home. 
And happy birthday as they allow him to cross with the inside the park home run as he catches his breath to reflect on his good fortune. The fans are not happy, and I can't blame them. And in so now it'll be the four hole hitter, Jared Werner, do up for the four, five, and six hitters, and they're hoping that this is the part of the lineup that can get something going. Yeah, only one run on the board so far for them. They just haven't had consistently good at bats. I know he's well aware of the fact he can't tie this with one swing of the bat, but maybe he's trying to ignite the boys by driving something out of the ballpark. And this will be flat. 7 1, the final score in tonight's. Louisville jumped out to an early lead in the first and never looked back. Homer Bailey earned his fifth win of the year. Minor League Baseball is live and on the air on the show. Tonight we wrap up this brief two-game series between the Louisville Bats and the Indianapolis Indians. Division rivals do... Coming to the plate now. Jared Werner, and he could give his guys an early lead if he can come through here. First pitch coming, here it is. And he chased up and out of the zone, a swing and a miss. Yeah, you should take a look at our visiting club as they enter play here this evening. They come in on the heels of a victory last time out, but they've been in a bad stretch recently, losing five of their last eight ball games. Yeah, Maddie. they started this road trip off right. Yesterday, there was one common theme. There was great starting pitch. The guy went out and absolutely executed. Hopefully, he passes the baton to this guy today, and he goes out and follows suit. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. Pick it Pick it up. Looped out right, towards short. He's up. Throw in he's time, up. and the side is retired. And ending in the books tonight, still scoreless here on the show. Steve Selsky will bat next. And he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. A ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. Heading out towards shallow right. Werner coasts under it. Two gone. So here now is the pitcher. Theodore Young. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. The 0 1 pitch. Pulls this one into the air out into right field. Werner will reach out with one hand to make the catch on the move, and that ends the inning. Digging in for his second at bat, Jared Werner. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Hit hard to short. Up with it now is Pennington. Throw on to first gets him and the side is retired. So they breeze through this half of the. Digging in Jared Werner. Right fielder Jared Werner. And he'll snap one over to first. And a dive but he's back in. And another snap throw to the bag. Runner back safely. Here's the first pitch to him. And a good pitch, but he gets quite a lot of it. And in fact, he got more than a lot of it. He got all of it. It's a home run. So a two-run homer down the line and left. Home run number two for him on the year. As they take the lead, it's two to one. Well, he thought he was just about out of this inning. Then the ball leaves the bat, and he's thinking, please go. This was an awfully quick series, and it ended in a split. I have a feeling these two teams could have played a 20-game series.
Triple-A baseball for you now on the show as we present coverage from the International League. Tonight, game two of this three-game weekend series between the Columbus Clippers and the Indianapolis Indians. Leading off the inning, Jared Warner, as they'll look to get something going here and even this game up. Hey, we're still in the early stages in this one. They're only down by a couple of runs, but it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. Low for ball one. Big swing and a miss at the changeup, a ball and a strike. Now the one and one pitch is taken for strike two. Inside and a hair low. It's two balls and two strikes. Here now the two two is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. Now at the plate, Roberto Perez. It was an RBI single for him in his last plate appearance. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. Skied into straightaway right. Relay, relay, hit me, hit me. Werner is there, and he makes the catch for the out. And he'll move up to third now. Runners at the corners here with one away. Standing in, Jared Werner. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. The wind up and the 0 1. And a fastball there is inside as that one backed him up a bit. That's a classic piece of pitching right there. You have to back hitters away from the plate to make them a little bit uncomfortable. Now you can go inside or outside. I like that purpose pitch. Allen is there now, and he has it. Two gone. Digging in, Jared Werner. He flew out in his last at bat. Jared, Jared Werner. First pitch of the at bat on its way. There's a ball ripped toward the gap in left center. Her, find the ball, find the ball. And they'll get a little closer here as the run comes across to score from first. He was on cruise control the entire game, but he gets brought back to reality here. An RBI double gets them on the board, and now that they've broken the dam, we'll see if they can generate some more runs now going back. forward. Third baseman. Colin Moran. Mine to the right side. And a dive, but it rattles in and out of the glove. Look, look, look. Pick it up. Pick it up. Werner rounds third and is digging for the plate. And he is out on the tag. So digging in now, Jared Werner. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here. First delivery to him on the way. Swing and a miss just behind a lively fastball. And a breaking ball stays outside. I like that they went away with that pitch right there. They really tried to tie him up on that previous pitch, so he was probably what we call inside conscious. He didn't get a strike there, but I'm guessing he was looking for another ball in. The one and two pitch. Swing and a miss at the curveball, and there's your second out of the inning. And that'll bring up Eric Gonzalez. Although there are a couple of bases open, and we'll see if they think about working around him. The one two. Lifted in the air out to right. Werner is there, and he puts this one away for the third out. So a great job there. Well, that wasn't exactly a nail biter. But it's always nice when you can get an offensive explosion like that and save your closer for another.
Welcome to MLB The Show and this presentation of Minor League Baseball. At the plate, Carlos Ibarra, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Carlos Ibarra. Ready to deliver the one and two. This is in the air to right. Werner is right there as he takes it for the second out. And with that, here's a look at the visitors start. Now in the box, Jared Werner. First at bat for him in this one. He was one for four with a double in the ball game last night. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Swing and a little tapper. Fellas, you take a look at these guys as they get onto the field for the bottom of the first here this afternoon. Four and two over their last six games, including a win last time out. Hey, thanks, Matty. Hey, you know what, d -Roll? Try to get on a kind of a little mini winning streak here. Losing the first game of this series, winning game two, and hopefully winning this series by pulling one out here today. Yeah, Dan, they were able to shower that first loss off in the first game of this series. Uh, just a sec now as that ball finds its way into the outfield, a base hit. The tag, and he is out at the plate. So much for our first run of the ball game. Stepping in, James Cazada is back in the starting lineup for this one after sitting out last night's game. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. Come on, get there. Rounded back up the middle. And the two out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. We've played an inning. No score here on the show. Next will be the cleanup hitter, up Jared Werner. Inning. He reached right on a finger. single in his first try. Jared Werner. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Oh. And a fastball just below the knees. Ball one. Zero. Oh, and he had him guessing there, and it's a ball and a strike. Now the one and one pitch. And he fouls this one off. Count still at one and two. Here he comes again, one, two. Fastball swung on and missed for the first out. Hey, I'm not sure what he was sitting on right there. I might have been sitting on an off-speed pitch, but instead he gets the fastball way late, had no chance. So the batting order turns over now and set to go Albert Aoki. He got on top of one and was a ground-out victim last time. Hit in the air down the right field line. Werner on the move. He tracks it down and makes the play to... So striding in, Jared Werner, one for two on his line so far in the game. And a ball, one and oh. Ready to deal, here's the one, one. And that one stayed up a little high. These guys have got to be frustrated as an offensive unit so far in this one. They haven't been able to crack the code on their opponent, but it's not like they're getting great pitch to hit either. This starter has kept the ball on the corners of the zone all game long. Drilled right back up the middle. That's through, and he's now two for three in this one. So the bottom of the inning is still alive after the two-out base hit. Nice execution right there, Dan. Kept his front shoulder in kept his hands inside the baseball and ripped the base hit up the middle. And if you're a pitcher right there, you can't get discouraged. Sometimes even when you make a good pitch, the ball is going to find a hole somewhere. That one right up the middle. And he'll dive back in safely. Werner leads off first with a pair of outs in the inning. Runners off for second. Pop high in the air. Diaz shading to his right. And that retires the side. So it's no runs on a hit, no errors in a man. So striding forward now, Jared Werner. He singled his last time up. Jared Werner. Here's the first pitch to him. 
takes a look at one catching the outside corner. The 0 and 1 delivery. A cold strike on the inside corner. Hey, that's case in point right there. He thought that was going to hollow out his rib and ended up being a strike. Ready with the 0-2. Up around the face. Okay, so now is where I think you pull the string. Throw the El Cambio up there. Hasn't seen it yet, and I think he's set up for it right here. The 1-2. Lifted into the air to shallow center. Ibarra over to his right. One away. Hey, one of the keys to having a good record in baseball is to win some games at home. So this was a big win to win at home in front of their home crowd. Yeah, Three to final one, the final one. score this Jordan afternoon. Jordan the Indians Jordan. get their 20th. The player receives advice about the refining of his game. The 
Game's future stars are on display as minor league baseball comes your way on the show. Tonight, the first of this four-game weekend set between the Toledo Mud Hens and the Indianapolis Indians. Toledo. Into the box, Jared Werner. He'll look to get something going here in this scoreless ball game. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Now that ball is hit well, deep down the left field line, headed toward the foul pole. Nearly a big fly to start the inning instead of foul ball. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0 and 2. Two quick strikes, and now the 0 2. And he misses there, one and two. I'm pretty surprised by the location on those last three pitches. The book on him is that he hits the way pitch pretty well, and he just saw three in a row out there. So does he go back out there again? No, Matt, I expect him to mix it up. Most catchers won't call for the same location over and over and over. And he takes ball three, so it's a full count now. From 0 and 2 to 3 and 2, what a great at bat to start this inning off. Hey, this could be a productive inning. And here's the 3-2 from him. Good wood on it there, but foul, so they'll do it again. The payoff pitch one more time. Now a swing and a chopper foul right at home plate. And he takes ball four. Leadoff man's aboard here to begin the home half of the second. Yeah, the guy's been on fire lately, hitting anything close. So I think this is the way to go here. Get the bat out of his hands any way that you can. In now, James Cazada. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Here's the 0-1. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Ferella on the move. And that's the first out of the inning. All right, here's how the visitors are lining up today. And one of the best guys on the defensive side of the ball today is going to be Manning left field. Unbelievable range out there, the ability to go back on balls, not fearful of the wall at all, and has a strong and accurate arm. Hit high and deep out to straightaway left. Perella going back on it to the track. On the warning track, he makes the catch. Settling in now, Colin Moran. And he's looking to turn things around. Ice cold at the plate in recent action. Here now the 2-2. is a swing and a miss. That's strike three. So it's no runs on no hit. Into the box now, Kenny Clemens. He got called out on strikes his last time Kenny through. Clemens. Now the three and two pitch. Hit the other way out toward right field. Werner is under it, and he brings it in for the second out of the inning. Ready for another chance? Jared Werner. He drew a walk his first time up. Jared Werner. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. He hit hard on, on the ground to third. And that's through into left to base hit. The run comes across to score, and they jump ahead 1-0. Nice nice right Boy, that has to feel good as a hitter, D-Roy. You get that base hit to give your team the lead. You have to feel good when you get down to first base. Yeah, it's just a nice approach. You see him turn to his boys right there and get fired up with the dugout. 100%, not trying to do too much, able to quiet the moment down, center himself, and come through in a big spot. Digging in to try it again, James Cazada. He flew out in his last at bat. And a fastball misses there, ball four. Next will be Jose Osuna. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Novoa at third. Werner over at second. Quezada at first with no outs. 
lifted in the air out towards left center. Calling for it, Barella makes the catch, but the runner from third breaks for home. They'll cash in here as the run is in to score from third. It's a 2-0 ball game. Always productive to score runs when you can, and that sacrifice fly right there drives home the second run of the inning. Coming to the plate now, Colin Moran. He'll look to bounce back after striking out his last Colin time up. Moran. Now the 3-0 offering. Fastball too high, ball four. Yeah, the pitching coach would hate to go to the bullpen this early in the game, but sometimes you have no choice. On the flip side, he might just get in his face a little bit out there, try to challenge him, wake him up from his funk. Either way, we'll see how it works. And this is swung on and missed. Oh, a huge punch out there as the bases remain loaded with two away now. Now at the plate, Jacob Stallings. So far, 0 for 1 with a flyout. 3-2 with the bases loaded. This is on the ground over to first. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. So they wind up with two in the inning. Stepping up now, Alberto Garcia. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Skied into straightaway right. Werner waits on it. And he makes the catch for the second out. Digging in and looking for more, Jared oh, Werner. He came through with an RBI Taylor. single in his last at-bat. Werner. From the belt, kicks and deals. There's a strike at the knees, 0-1. And they pitch out here, but nothing's going on. Novoa is off of first with two away. Down the third baseline. Oh, and he has some trouble with it. And the recovery won't be in time as he'll beat the throw to first. Digging in once again, James Quezada. Fielder number 22, James Quezada. Hard All ground right, ball to up, third. Throw to second for the force out, and the side is retired. So it's no runs on two hits, no error. Ready once again, the Brian man. Quo. He second singled baseman. his last time up. Brian Quo. Hit the other way out toward right field. Werner is in pursuit. He takes the turn and heads for second. And now that'll hop over the wall. So he'll be at second here with two away on a ground rule double. Ready now, Jared Werner. And it looks like this could be a critical at bat in this one. Well, a glance at my scorebook shows they haven't been able to get him out yet. So this could be a fun at bat to watch. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Get out, get out, fly. In the dirt here. Throw over to third here. And oh, they say he beat the throw safe at third. So now two men in scoring position. Well, they miss with the first one, but then they decide, let's go ahead and put him aboard here. And they'll do just that as you see the signal from the dugout. These guys on defense are still within striking distance, but after that walk, one swing of the bat could really blow this thing wide open. Digging in, James Quezada. Davis, the runner at third. Novoa at second. Werner is over at first with one away. Just got a piece up the line. Scooped up, step on the back for one, but he'll put this in his pocket and be content with just the one out. Next will be Jose Osuna. Two down, runners at first and second. Look out, a fastball up near his dome, and that'll wake you up a bit. Well, that'll wake everyone up. Anytime you buzz the tower like that, there's reason for people to start getting a little bit edgy. Fly ball out to straightaway right. Goodrum 
moves over. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. So it's one run. Now batting, Brian Kuo. Only four outs remaining for them to try and rally back in this one. Fly ball out to right field. Werner giving chase. He gets there to make the play, and that ends the inning. So they go down without a whimper here. Home half of the eighth straight ahead. Indianapolis leads it 3-1. to one. It's always nice to take the opener of a four-game set when you're at home. That sets the stage for the rest of the series, and it gives you a good springboard the rest of the way. Tonight's ball game comes to a close. Three to one, the final. Indianapolis took the lead in the fourth and held on until the end. Sherman Walker earns win number seven on the season. Time for baseball of the AAA variety as the show brings you coverage from the International League. Stepping up to the plate, Kenny Clemens. First chance for him here in the top of the first with nobody on. Skied into straightaway right. Moving under it, Werner. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. So a relatively routine start for the top of the first here. So it's on to the bottom of inning number one. No score. Now at the plate, Jared Werner, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Jared Werner. Before the first pitch, a check at first. And he'll get back in safely. Ready with the first pitch, here it comes. Strike taken, the throw. And he'll be tagged out at second base. So coming to the plate, Jared Werner. He had a couple of hits in that ball game last night. Jared Werner. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. A fastball, and he swings through it to fall behind. The 0-1 pitch. And he chased up and out of the zone, a swing and a miss. It's amazing. I tell so many fans, you get in a box one time, the one pitch you're going to swing at more than any other is that elevated fastball. Your eyes light up as an offensive player, and you just cannot get to it. Another 0-2 coming. Swung on, and he went fishing in the dirt. And he makes the throw to first. Werner is retired, and there's one away. All right, here's how the visitors look. Striding in, Jared Werner. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Here's the first pitch to him. Comes right after him with a fastball for a strike. Popped him up. Conway over to his left. And he makes the catch for the second out. Stepping in and ready for another oh, shot, Jared Werner, as he'll look Jared to bring home that tying Warner. run from second with a base hit into the outfield. Trying to hold the lead, here's the delivery. Yep, a fastball down. off the plate away, it's ball one. The 1-0. -oh. A swing Stay and down. a miss, strike one. One and one. Way in front of that fastball. A 
Uh, got him on a good slider there. Swung on and missed as he's down on strikes for the second time tonight. Striding in once again, Johnny Rhodes. He flew out in his last at bat. Fly ball out to straightaway right field. Werner is there, and the inning is over. So they pick up a run on two hits. Digging in now, Jared Werner. And Dan, this could be a real make or break situation at this point in the game. Yeah, Matt, at least scoring one run in this inning is so important to them to possibly get back into this thing. Baseball doesn't have a clock, but you only have 27 outs to work with. They're running out of those pretty quick. 0 oh, and 1 count and the pitch. Hit down the third baseline. But uh, this will be a foul ball as he's behind 0 oh and 2 now. Here it comes on nothing and two. Fastball down near the shoe tops. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Calling for it, Goodrum. And that's the third out. So no runs here on a base hit. Well, listen, there's no doubt they were pressing during that seven game losing streak, but that's behind them now. Now they can play a little bit freer which is the way this game is the supposed to be played anyways. Tonight's ball game comes to a close. Three to one, the final. Toledo took the lead in the fourth and held on until the end. Enrique. Triple-A baseball for you now on the show as we present coverage from the International League. Today we wrap up this four-game weekend series between the Toledo Mud Hens and the Indianapolis Indians. It's baseball. It's the show, and it comes your way next. Now to the plate, Jared Werner. He did not play last night, but clearly back in the starting nine for this one. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Breaking ball in for a strike. Dan Dero, as we take a look at our visiting club as they take the field in this scoreless ball game, they've been mired in a team-wide slump of late as with the loss last time out, they've now dropped eight of their last nine decisions. Yeah, Maddie, this series has been a little bit of back and forth, dropping the first one, finding a way to battle back, and then dropping the third one of this four-game set. Let's see if they can find a way to tie this rubber game. You know, Dero, this is one of those if you could win game four. Standing in, now Kenny batting. Clemens. He looked to bounce back after Kenny striking out his Clemens. last time up. The 2 2. Fly ball out to straightaway right. Werner there to put it away and finally put an end to the inning. Nine men come to the plate. Four score. On now to the bottom of the second. The Mud Hens lead it. Four. So stepping in, Johnny Rhodes. 0 for 1 here in the early going. Even though they're up by a boatload early on in this one, you can't get complacent and get lazy. They got to keep the gas pedal down because this team that they're playing can strike and score a lot of runs too. Digging in the switch hitter, number 26. He's 0 for 1 thus far. The one two heading out. Three, three, three. And that's the second out of the inning. Riding into the box, Leaving Jared the Werner. He flew right out in his last at bat. Jared First Werner. pitch on its way. And a breaking ball stays outside. First two pitches off the mark here. It's 2 0. Oh. <laughs> 2 and 1. Boy, what a time to pull the string on him. On 2-0, there's no way anyone's thinking change-up. So if you can locate it, that's pretty much unhittable. And, ooh, he's really given some leeway on the outside edge here. 2-2 two and two now. Oh, 
Won't commit on the slider. Good patience, and it's full three and two. Great A-B so far. I'd really like to see this guy work a walk and get on base for this team. Maybe give them a shot of confidence that they got a shot to get back in this one. Fernandez is there. Looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. Stepping into the box, Jared Werner. Fielder number three, Jared Werner. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Line drive to left. That gets down, and the inning continues. So he picks on the first pitch here and is able to extend the inning. That had to be in the scouting report right there. You don't see too many OO oh, oh, breaking ball ambushes in the game anymore. With the nothing in one pitch. That's a strike to throw down. And it skips in as he steals the bag easily. Trying to hold the lead. Here's the delivery. And a good fastball swung on and missed for strike three. And the inning is over. So it's two runs here on two hits with one of them being the home run. We're through five here at the plate. Jared Werner. And with men on base and two away, it feels like this at-bat could go a long way toward deciding this thing. No doubt, Matt. A base hit here changes this game quite a bit. But if they can't score here, it looks pretty bleak for them heading into the last couple of innings. Now a throw over, and he has to dive, but he's back in easily. Here's the 0-1 pitch. A wave and a miss, a tick behind a good fastball. With runners on base, two outs and two strikes, this is a big next pitch for both sides. Slider, good two-strike pitch, but it misses one and two. These are the situations right here that make me miss wearing a uniform. The big spot, the cat and mouse of what's he going to throw. I'm down one, two. Can I battle back? The pitcher's trying to put me away. This is what the game's all about. The one, two. And another foul ball. Here's the one and two delivery. Oh, almost caught looking to end the inning, but it's called the ball, two and two. Man, that's a tough take given where we are this game, but he got away with it. Now a fastball runs inside and drills him. Oh, that's got to hurt. Well, he might be feeling a little bit of a sting there, but he can take comfort in knowing that he represents the go-ahead run. That could turn out to be a huge hit by pitch. Ready for another shot now, James Cazada, as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. Two quick strikes, and now the 0-2. He struck him out the third time he's fanned in the game. So they load the bases on just one hit, but three men are left stranded. We'll look ahead to inning number eight now. The Mud Hens lead it 6-4. Six to four, the outcome today. The Toledo Mud Hens took the lead in the second inning and rode the that until the very the end.
Welcome to MLB The Show and this presentation of Minor League Baseball. Tonight we get the week started with the first of four between the Indianapolis Indians and the Gwinnett. Mike Soroka, the right-hander from Canada, will be the starting pitcher. What do we need to know here, Danny? Hey, we look a lot at numbers from starting pitchers, walks to innings pitch, but one of the key stats I look for is whip. And he has a sub 1.30 whip coming into this start, which tells me he throws strikes. He's not afraid to get the ball in the strike zone. It'll be interesting to see if he can string together some real quality innings in this one. And he throws the fastball by him here, 0-1. Fellas, you take a look at our homestanding ball club as they come into this one tonight. They've been fairly punchless of late, losing last time out and, in fact, dropping six of their last seven. Yeah, Maddie. what I need to see out of this offense today is some early production. Somebody's got to get on, uh, on base and, and put the defense on their heels. They've been struggling recently. They're not swinging the bats well. They got shut out yesterday, and this offense needs to adjust itself. That misses one and two. Boy, it's hard to sit on an 0-2 fastball. I think that pitch just locked him up a bit. But lucky for him, it was just a little out of the zone. Line drive to center field. That's in there. Base hit. And they're going to take a 1-0 lead as the run comes across to score. Hey, nice way to start a new series, d -Roll. The thing you want to do is try to score early. It's always nice to win the first game of a series. Yeah, they're coming out swinging right here, trying to set the tone and let everybody breathe a deep sigh of relief, hopefully get this first game under our belt. This is it high in the air out toward left center. Calling for it, Chiavacci. Two gone. Now with the plate, Fred Buckner. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Left fielder, Fred Buckner. The 3-2 pitch to short. Oh, what a stop on the slide. The throw to first. Safe. That was a phenomenal stop, but it winds up a base hit, and the inning continues. Here's Max Moroff standing in. Hitless in four tries in the ball game yesterday. Slow roller back to the mound. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. So it's a run on three hits, no errors, and two men left on. Stepping in, Eli Valenzuela. It lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Right fielder, Eli Valenzuela. Here's the 0-1 pitch. High in the air out towards shallow right. Werner is there. One down. Into the box now, Jared Werner. He reached on a single in his first try. Jared Werner. Here's the first pitch to him. Swing and a miss way behind the big fastball. One out, nobody on. A swing and a ground ball to third. Played on the backhand. Throw on to first, two gone. Stepping into the box, Henry Morales. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Henry Morales. This is in the air out to right. Werner on the move, but he can't make the play as it finds the outfield grab. And he's going to get to second now with nobody out. That was a pretty good fastball, and it almost got by him. But he's able to slap it in the gap in the right center field because of the velocity. Coming to the plate now, Jared Werner, runner in scoring position with Sugan. Getting a few steps off a second there. Now the pitch. A ball and no strikes. Two walks in this inning already, so he can't expect to stay out there much longer if he puts somebody else on. We'll see if he can find it. A oh, pretty healthy hack that time. It's one and one. Davis stands in second with two gone. Grounded down the third baseline, but a foul ball, one and two now. The one-two. Misses for the second ball. 
Well, that'll wake everyone up. Anytime you buzz the tower like that, there's reason for people to start getting a little bit edgy. Now he drops a changeup on him. Strike three called and a great pitch there to retire the side. Now batting. Left fielder, George Mendez. Pulls this one into the air out into right field. Werner on the move. Makes the catch and that'll retire the side. Leading off the inning, Jared Werner as they'll look for some added insurance before the bottom half of the inning. First pitch of the inning is taken low and away for a ball. It's 1-0. runs outside so it goes to 2 and 0 now. You know, sometimes it takes a pitcher a few pitches to get going, but those two pitches weren't even close. Falls behind in the count 2 and 0. It's time to start getting locked in. Now the 2 1 pitch. Hit hard down the left field line. And nearly extra bases to start the inning, but this winds up foul by inches. Wow. And that's a swinging strike three in the dirt. He'll throw down to first, one away. Digging in, Jared Werner. He'll look to bounce back after striking out his last time up. First pitch of the at-bat. Swung on and missed, outclassed by that fastball for a strike. Swing and a miss just behind a lively fastball. Hey, from an offensive standpoint, you better get it ready. This guy is not throwing a ton of pitches. He's confident in his stuff. He's pounding the zone. He's got two quick outs. You better pull the trigger. And the throw is in time. It's a strikeout, and the play at first goes 2-3. to 4-0 the score tonight. The Indians jumped out to an early lead in the first and never looked back. Minor League Baseball is live and on the air on the show. At the plate, Jared Werner, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Jared Werner. First offering on its way. Popped him up. Spillane is there for it. And that's the first out of the inning. So now it'll be the four hole hitter Jared Werner. He flew out in his last at bat ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch and a pitch out. Nothing doing though and that's ball one. Here it comes one and oh. Count even now at one and one. Now a throw over to first. And the runner back. Navoa, the runner at first with two gone. And he misses two and one. He's fallen behind now, three and one. Jose Osuna would be next. Set. Here's the 3-1. Hey. Good breaking ball that time in for a strike. All right, 3-2 count with two outs. The runner on first will be moving, so we'll see what happens. There are a lot of possible outcomes with this kind of play. And this pitch misses for ball four. So that's going to move a runner into scoring position now with two away. And this is the kind of thing that's been happening to him all season long. He'll cruise for a while, hitting his spots, and all of a sudden the wheels come off and he struggles. We'll see if he can recover here. In the air now after left field. Chiavacci is there. And that's the third out. Digging in for his second at bat, William Park. 32. William Park. 
And he goes with the pitch here and drives it the other way to deep right. And he will get there to make the running play, and that will end the inning. So they go quietly here in this half inning. Three innings complete. Indianapolis is out in front. So here's the cleanup hitter, Jared Werner. Jared Werner. A decent lead at second. Here's the pitch. And a feeble swing that time. It's 0-1. This is the stuff that infuriates a manager. You have to think the game. You got to know he's trying to pitch around you. You cannot swing at that pitch out of the zone. Swing and a miss here, and he's behind in the count now, 0-2. Naboa, the runner at second with one away. Swing and a miss. Got him with the slurve there. Two gone. Standing in, Leland Harper, as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. Has a look, now the pitch. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Werner ranging back on the warning track. He makes the catch. And they are on the board with the sack fly as this is now a 2-1 to game. Digging in, Jared Werner. And this tie ball game is a battle of the bullpens now, and I'm sure you're enjoying that, Dan. Bullpens are such a big part of baseball now, Matt. All these teams have such good 7th, 8th, and 9th inning guys. It all boils down to whose bullpen is better. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Throw on to first in time, so the leadoff man is set down to open up inning number 8. And this man right here certainly did his part here this evening. He was one of a few guys that... And a welcome, everyone. Our situation has bases empty, two out in the inning. Now at the plate, Jared Werner. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Werner. Takes a knee-high fastball. And this is swung on and missed. So now they find themselves down to their final strike tonight. I think he just subscribed to the swing hard in case you hit it philosophy of hitting. As a pitcher, why not? Better than standing up there like you've never held a bat before. Has them down to their final strike. Here it comes. Outside and low that time. Now it's two balls and two strikes. A neck high fastball that time. Wow, from 0 and 2 to 3 and 2, and that last pitch on 2 and 2 wasn't even close. He had this. It's a high fly ball headed for the left field corner. If it stays fair, it's gone. And foul, though it had the home run distance. A bouncer up the middle. Throw on to first, and the ball game is over. 7-5 tonight's final. Gwinnett crossed the plate three times in the eighth, helping propel them to the win. Our the game's future. Jamal Heineck is the man on the mound for the fourth game of the series. Dan Plezak, what do you got? Hey, man, we're getting a look at a guy that's really been struggling lately. In his last three starts, he has a whip of over 1.50. Lots of base runners, lots of hits, and lots of walks, and that doesn't add up to very good performances. So he's going to look to turn things around in this one here today. The set and the 1-0 pitch. Pitch out, nothing doing. Kazada leads off first with a pair of outs in the inning. Two and one now. Guys, we take a look at the home nine as they take the field tonight. They've come in losers of seven of their last ten games, but did earn the victory last time out. Hey, Matty V, yeah, they'd like to finish this series off strong, D-Row. They... Swing, high drive, left field and deep. There you go. Find the ball, find the ball. And he just couldn't keep that ball fair as it winds up a long foul ball. Now a foul tip held on to behind the plate. Nice work there to get the punch out in the inning. At the plate, Jared Werner. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. 
First pitch coming. Here it is. Fouled away. Prior to the 0 1, here's a look to first. And a dive, but he's back. A runner on first with two away. Missed with a slider. Popped him up. Miro waits on it. He makes the play, and that'll end the inning. So no runs on a hit here. No air. So digging in now, Jared Werner. Jared Werner. He's set, and the pitch. Sliders in for a strike. Oh, oh man, he took a swing and a half at that one. I think some frustration is creeping into these guys, so he might have just been trying to get his guys on the board with one swing. A swinging strike, and now it's 0-2. He broke out the slide step there, Danny. Yeah, he's clearly thinking about the steal right here. Didn't happen, but the cat-mouse game continues on. It's a swinging bunt up the line, but it gets fouled. The 0-2 once more. Got him. Fooled on the pitch as he swings at it in the dirt for strike three. And that'll hurt. Now in the box, Jared Werner. Jared Werner. He's set. Here it comes. Takes a look down at the knees for a strike. This is going to be an interesting at bat. I think he has to be pitching for a strike out here, so... We'll see what kind of sequence he uses. Swing and a miss. It's 0-2. Two, two mid-90s fastballs and you're down 0-2. This is where you got to take a deep breath and pot commit. You're either all in on another fastball or you're finding a way to stay back to attack something off speed. Struck him out. Struck him out again. Stepping in, Garrett now Wilkerson. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim Garrett last time. Wilkerson. Working for the punch out and the offering. Fly ball out to straightaway right. Werner waits on it. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. It's a run up. And tonight's ends as a 3 0 shutout win. The Gwinnett Stripers took the lead in the fourth. A player has addressed about a troubling trend in his plate performance of late. A hitter lacking patience and discipline will be easily exposed by Major League pitching.